वेलकम बैक फॉर द नेक्स्ट सेशन विद मिस्टर अशोक लाल सर माई नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अकॉर्डिंग टू यू वट हैज चेंज ओवर द ईयर इन डेवलपमेंट ऑफ बिल्डिंग्स एज फार एज द रेस्पॉन्सिबल डेवलपमेंट एंड डिजाइनिंग इज कंसर्ट वेल टू बी फ्रेंक देर सीम टू बी टू ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन ऑफ डिवेलपमेंट बिकॉज ऑफ आर इंटरनेशनल एक्सपोजर and some fanciful ideas about what is a good life there is one set of people including developers and ourselves also who are getting into ways of building and designing which are really not sustainable that is also on the rise by the way but there is the opposite side which is very very significant now and it is getting more and more strength where young people particularly are realizing that the way they are going to live in the future is going to ensure whether as they grow up as they grow older they'll have a sustainable and comfortable life or not they are realizing that green building is something that needs to be understood they are taking responsibility they are making demands on the market the market also now has many different facets whether it is government policy whether it is the programs like greha and lead that certify green buildings and other such incentives that are now the world is everywhere people are picking it up and there's a whole bunch of people who now understand the relationship between lifestyle building and green and are making the right demand from the market so both things are happening so as you mentioned there are uh, two schools of thought basically uh, one is that obviously they are more aware about the uh, green buildings are demanding it and second is actually going to opposite direction and not they are not doing it so uh, the school of thought which is not doing it so what are the challenges with them they are finding it difficult uh, to do it uh, is there any awareness to or uh, any other issue which you can mention i would like to be very optimistic right I think it is a sociological process. Take the example of diet. You know, there was a time when we used to eat a lot of ghee and tala hua this and fried stuff and sweets and everything and that was considered to be good food, right? And we used to really enjoy it. All right? Then there came a time there were some people who said my gosh you know this is creating illness this is creating bad health this is creating heart attacks this is creating diabetes and so on and so forth and they started changing their diet the guys who loved the good food didn't understand why they are eating this ghas food there's no taste in it but the guys who were changing their diet learned how to make beautiful tasty food with their new dietary habits right, right. they started asking the right questions and became innovative they made healthy diet more enjoyable more tasty now the world is shifting in their direction everybody is now more conscious of diet and there are so much more choice available in healthy food which is very tasty and i think this is the same thing is going to happen with green building Correct. 